is what's up and welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Barbie and thank you guys so much for joining me today please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystal content all right you guys I have a super fun video for you guys I went to Michael's the arts and crafts store and picked up a bunch of amazing witchy Halloween things and oh my god they had some super fun things I am so excited to show you guys all of these stuff that I got they were super low on stock and it's only the beginning of September so if you guys want to get these pieces definitely head to Michael's before everything sells out so let's jump in and get started with the haul okay you guys so I got two huge bags of stuff I spent almost $200 so let's get in to the haul all right you guys so this is one of the first things I got forgive the glare but it is a coffin terrarium and you can put other things in here I was thinking maybe putting crystals in here or making a crystal terrarium but how freaking cute is that and this piece was a little expensive this was a $24.99 but so freaking cute. So the next thing I got was this pumpkin tonic. And let me show you guys what this looks like close up because it is so freaking cute. Okay, so that is what the label looks like. And it has this little speckling around the side. It has a little cork, which you technically aren't supposed to be able to open. It was glued closed, but I opened it. It would be so cute to put flowers in here. And the price for this was $7.99. So that is the pumpkin tonic. This is so freaking cute. The next thing I picked up are these giant jars with corks in them. They kind of look like scientist jars or witchy jars. Again, a great place to store crystals or store something witchy. If you have a bunch of herbs, you can put them in here. But they have these in all sizes. I just love the big ones. I think the big ones are so cool, but they had small ones. They had beaker like ones. They had some really cool kind of witchy looking ones. So I picked up the big ones. These were $9.99 each. So not bad at all, especially if you use them for something like crystals. Okay. So this next thing I got is one of my favorites. I think I'm going to keep it up all year round because it's so freaking cute. But look at this it's a spell book that comes on a metal stand it looks almost 3d so let me show you guys what this one looks like up close look at how freaking cool this is you guys the pages are weathered and torn it's actually like i believe this is resin but you can see kind of when i turn it this way it has like 3d it's kind of 3d and how it looks look at how gorgeous those pages are this is the stand that it comes on. And then that is the back. It looks kind of weathered. It has a spider on it and it has a spider web. Like this is so freaking cute. I am beyond obsessed with this. I might actually put this in the background of my videos because it's so freaking cute. So this actually wasn't that expensive. It was only $20, but this was the last one, you guys. So they were almost completely sold out. I actually saw someone have this on TikTok and I was like, oh my God, I hope they have this. And they had one left. So if you guys can snag this, get it. Cause it is so freaking cute. So this is the next thing I picked up. It's actually quite big. I can't really fit it in the camera, but I will show you a close up. So it says witch's lair and it has this beautiful wood detailing. And then there's this gorgeous broom with the moon and stars. And it says, do you dare enter the witch's lair? I absolutely love this. This is so cool. I just want to hang this in my office or in my crystal room upstairs. Freaking adorable. And this one was $21.99. Okay, so this is really fragile. So be super careful there's a little thing to hang it i might be able to glue it back together but be very careful i would say like overall none of this stuff is super expensive i didn't really look at the prices when i was buying it i was just so excited i grabbed everything but i still have a ton more stuff to show you guys so this is the next item it's this pillow that is so cool it says your fate and it's a very palm reading inspired pillow I thought this was so cute. It kind of looks 
vintage-y. I only got one, but in retrospect, I probably should have gotten two of them. But how freaking cute is this? And the detail is so pretty. Okay, so this was one of the more expensive pieces. This one was $30, so this one was a little bit pricey, but will look cute again all year round. So this next piece was one of the first pieces I saw and one of the first pieces I grabbed. It is so cool. Again, this is one I might keep up all year round because it's so cool. So these are the little set of books that aren't actually books. They are just resin. But how cool is that? They really do look like books. And then that is the cover. It says Love Potions. And then on the side, you can see the other books that are in the stack. And these are, again, all together, like they're one piece. And it just looks so cool. You can see it has that 3D element. Same with the writing on the sides. And this is just a really freaking cool piece. This was just $20, so not bad at all. Super freaking adorable. And the next thing I got is something, again, I might just keep up all year round. Perfect to put in the kitchen, but it's this. <laughs> and it says Magical Brews, and it has some really cute pastel colors on it. And there you guys go. You can see the color super pretty and then kind of on this like vintagey faded wood and this was only eight dollars you guys how freaking adorable is this and it's just so cute like i just want it all year round in my house and then because i love those books so much they did have some more books and they had some more potions and i wanted to get more of that stuff but i tried to limit myself i may go back and get more but I did go ahead and pick up this book that isn't really a book, but looks like a book. Again, it has those pages that kind of look like a book. And then that is the front of it. It's like this spider and a heart. And then on the side, it says spell. So it just looks like this big old spell book. And this is a pretty big piece, you guys. Like it's almost the size of my face. It's like pretty heavy. This piece was... $20 and again this is one that I think if you're witchy you can keep this up all year round because it is so freaking cool and you can see the cover is a little glittery so that is everything I picked up from Michaels you guys they had one of the best Halloween assortments that I have ever seen I haven't gone shopping for Halloween decorations in a really long time so I literally wanted to buy everything they had velvet skulls they had more pillows they had more wall decor they had so many freaking cute things I'm actually gonna check online because there was some stuff that I saw other people get that wasn't there I love Ouija boards and they had a bunch of Ouija board things that I didn't get because they weren't there so I had such a good time. I had so much fun. These Halloween decorations are not expensive at all. They're very reasonably priced and they are so freaking cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys gone to Michael's? Have you tried out their Halloween decorations? This was my first time going to Michael's and getting Halloween decorations and I was not disappointed. So let me know what your favorite was down below. I think I like the books and the potions the most, but let me know your guys' thoughts and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystal and witchy content and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! And before I go, a special thank you to all of my patrons. You keep this channel alive and running. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, I will leave a link in the description box down below. This is a great way to show support to the channel. Or if you're looking for additional business advice, I offer this as well. So I look forward to seeing you on my Patreon.